Hello, welcome back to Mrs. Wilson Science. I thought today we'd do something just a little bit different and talk about the story behind my most watched video, which isn't even on this channel. So if you've ever seen the wet chant, and if you teach our science, you probably have, especially if you're in the US, here's how that all came about. Let's have a look. So this is my personal YouTube channel, which I don't actually use that much, but you can see I do occasionally post things for applications and things, um, sharing a little bit. I used to also post just some fun things from my classroom, um, doing some titrations, uh, did interviews after I did my microgravity, well, before my microgravity flight, um, stuff from faculty meetings and when I used to do a bit of flipped learning. And as you keep scroll scrolling down, you'll notice these web chant videos. And you can see that there's actually four of them. And I think most people actually see this one, WebChant fourth period. And I actually started this whole thing as a project with my students. And I was teaching sixth grade earth science at the, at the time. You see, that was eight years ago. So these kids have graduated from high school. They're currently in college slash uni, depending on what side of the pond you're on. And, and so they're not this little anymore. But when I did that particular year, I had been reading some information about incorporating multimodal learning into the classroom, and it talked about dance. And I had quite a few students that year who I knew were taking dance. I am not a dancer whatsoever. But I thought it might be fun to incorporate something into a chant that I was already using. So I was already using this web chant. I learned it from one of my staff development um, in Gwinnett County Public Schools. And it had some hand motions to it. So some of it's kind of, they've gotten a little bit more advanced in the uh, dance here. But they have some basic like break, move, drop, um, where the hand motions. So they're very simple. And I, I liked using this. It, it's a great way to help students remember the difference between weathering erosion and deposition, which I find they often really get muddled up. And so I took this to my classes and I said, hey, if anyone's interested in, in helping me choreograph a little dance routine to go with this, just come to school um, this morning before school and we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll go through it. And I had about five girls show up and I told them as we were working this out, I said, look, it's got to be easy. It's got to be something that I can do because I'm rhythmically challenged and I can't follow things very well. Um, and it needs to be something I can then teach to the other classes without you here. So they were in a couple of the different sections of the classes, but they I didn't have one for, uh, a representative from every single class. And I said, what we're gonna do is we'll teach it to the classes, I'll record it, we'll have a dance off. And what I did with the dance off is I we uploaded the videos, we had a, a poll going uh, so people could share with their family and their friends and vote for which one was their favorite. And if I remember correctly, it was actually this, the uh, third period one that came in first place, they were really good at voting. Uh, but this one, the fourth period one, is the one now, the video that has the most views. I have to say that this probably was my favorite one um, because the, a lot of the girls who helped choreograph it were in this particular class. So let's just have a look here. So here we are, and you can see that these two girls here right at the front in the yellow and the pink are two of the girls who helped to choreograph. And you can, as you watch them, you can tell that they're really confident about it. And over there at the far left is, is me um, in the black dress. So I am in this as well. I did do this along with the students. What we tried to do is put the, the students who were the most confident in the front row and then went from there. We had, um, our school wasn't full at this point, which is why we had this empty classroom where we were able to go and do this. And in addition to that, I also had uh, a student who's really into, at the time, into journalism. And so he was our, our camera guy for this. And uh, he's actually studying journalism in, in college, university now. So um, obviously he knew early on, even in sixth grade, what he really wanted to do. But I thought this was just a really great way to get everybody to learn this and to remember the differences between weathering erosion and deposition. And it was a fun way to, to go through this together. And there you have it. And and as you can see, um, it, it's quick, it's repetitive. Um, it's a pretty easy 
dance to dance choreography to go through um, and my students love it I still use it um, I don't teach earth science anymore I teach in England I think I've mentioned that a few times um, but in England I do sometimes teach rocks when I teach year eight and we talk about weathering erosion and deposition so I'll pull this out and we'll learn the steps so I noticed a four, three, four years ago, probably four or five years ago, that this video is getting a lot of hits on it, and there were lots of, um, the views were increasing. So I decided to do a little bit of investigation. What I found is a, a lot of schools are making their own videos, they're using this, and they're posting their own videos on YouTube, and that was amazing. And so what I've done is put together a little playlist that includes all of these that um, have been done from the different different schools that I found and if you're if you've got one of these and yours isn't on my playlist just give me a shout I'll be happy to add it so I've just navigated over to my playlist page on my personal channel and here's this wed chant playlist and you can see I've added the the four that were from my classes and then as we go through here uh, there all of these um, we can see in this playlist lots of other students doing this with their teachers some in in classrooms like i did some in in school gyms some outside and i just think it's so cool that this came about because of this little video that i posted that a colleague in my school system wrote and then that my students actually did the choreography for and i wanted to to share this because you may not have known that that story behind it that this was something that students came up with these were, like I said, sixth grade students at the time. They came up with this and they they created this really amazing dance that now lots of people are using. So I once again, I hope you enjoyed the story behind the wed chant. I hope you use that as inspiration to do your own creative things with your students. I am a huge proponent of STEM education, obviously. And although I'm not hugely into using the term STEAM, adding the A for art, I do like to actually add those artistic elements into things that I do when I teach with this choreography being an example, sometimes song, and sometimes I also will use um, drawing and painting as well. So even though I don't actually use the A part and call it STEAM, I do incorporate it into my lesson. So I hope that you enjoyed the story and I hope you'll join us next time back here on Mrs. Wilson Science. So long!